We stopped by here at the port in Long Beach because you got to check out the Queen Mary, right? Uh, it's closed right now. It's of course famously been a hotel for a long time, but I don't think it ever really reopened post COVID-19. Of course, operated by the Canard White Star Line, uh, sailed its maiden voyage in 1936. Uh, it of course gives me uh, and lots of people uh, Titanic vibes, sort of built in a, a similar style. That's just how all the cruise liners of the day were built. And it was built basically by the same company after it had merged with Canard, although this was many, many years after the whole Titanic incident happened in 1912. But it, it actually sailed for 31 years, which to me seemed like a relatively short amount of time, but I guess so many advancements were made in terms of cruise ships uh, over those times that I guess it just kind of got replaced. And I, I wonder if it's made more money as a tourist attraction than it ever did as a cruise ship, because ever since it's been a popular destination you said that it's haunted yeah <laughs> cool <laughs> i thought you would have like some cool details uh, i got most of my information from a youtuber glam and gore no oh. because well they they worked on it because they do sfx makeup no oh. so they there's like a halloween event usually every year and so they well they're doing Shacktoberfest right now yeah well they didn't do that before they do like a haunted house type thing and so she would work on the makeup for the actors and things like that but um a famous actress I'm not sure which one I'd have to check but a famous actress died in a certain room on the Queen Mary uh and apparently if you go into that room spooky things happen so. spooky spooky yay so yeah not much we able to do out here uh these days but just thought I'd show you this really cool um, tourist destination. And then the dork in me gets really excited about the Long Beach Arena around there, uh, across the way there. It, it, the, the mural, the famous mural is sort of faded these days, but it's got all the whales around it. And uh, me as a huge KISS fan is just really excited that that's where they played their first West Coast public show in 1974. Pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, really cool ship. It sailed for 30 years. Yep. It completed many transatlantic voyages and also played a big part in World War II. Ooh, I didn't know the World War II part. It's now a floating hotel. Um, there have been 55 reported deaths on the Queen Mary since the ship launched in 1936. That's... The majority of them were from natural causes. Yeah, I guess people, I mean, I guess hotels just have that happen occasionally, unfortunately. Uh, there were not records, like death records weren't kept during World War II, so in reality the true number is likely to be higher, but yeah, um, they, it does offer ghost tours. Yeah, that ghost. makes sense. And now we've made our way down to another must-see tourist attraction, the Santa Monica Pier. Uh, first for you, we are at the end of uh, what is technically Route 66, so I can technically say I've driven a part of that now even if it was like two blocks and we're gonna go for a nice beach day all right I think that's where I'm gonna end my video of all of our various LA travels we've had a nice couple days here a uh, few days it's been a while actually yeah we've been doing uh disneyland and uh universal, universal studios as well as i encroach on a wedding photo but yeah thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed uh some of this i haven't filmed much from disneyland or universal studios because i just kind of wanted to enjoy it for myself and i know every square inch of that those parts have been vlogged to death already but uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you get down here sometime soon. And I'll catch you all again real soon. Goodbye.